This is a function test of the Gillows B17G Kit 2002 RC conversion. Um, this uses four 9 gram 2200 kV motors. Those are 5030 GWS three blade props. There's four Hobby Wing 10 amp ESCs. It has a standalone BEC. 9 gram servo for the ailerons, 5 gram servos for the uh, rudder elevator, and the bomb doors are run off uh, a 3.7 gram servo. So, this is what my build ended up like. Um, the build is on RC Group, so I'll provide a link for it. I'll hand the camera to my assistant. And he can uh, I'll show you some function on it. You got plenty of aileron travel, elevator, and rudder. And the tailwheel steers with the rudder. Uh, the ground handling could be better, but it's uh, the CG is so close to. The, uh, center line for the wheels that it likes to bump and go up on the nose so that's why we put this little skid up here in the uh, the turret area you can't even notice it but if it noses up it hits the skid so uh, we did equip this with the bomb dropping capabilities and with retracts thanks to uh, Spitfire 1954 he figured that out in his 17 build but I got the specs and dimensions for those uh, for those retracts from his build, and then I found them. They work out quite nicely. And then we have our bomb dropping capabilities. Um, for the bomb doors, they're run by pieces of thread. We're gonna try to try to get you a view of it here. They're run by pieces of thread. Uh, to the servos and then I put little springs on the doors so the springs are just to help the doors open and then the servo pulls them shut with a piece of thread so they don't follow the same arc so the one door doesn't open all the way but it does allow us to drop our payload of snaps and it is quite entertaining to carpet bomb with this thing um, and drop our gear and then I'll remove the the battery cover and we'll show you what goes on inside of it here first we gotta power up the motors that's so cool it, uh, it does rock and roll now this is our battery cover coming up and it's a 2200 milliamp 2S battery. Um, and that battery, there was no nose weight needed with it. it, it I made CG with this thing, uh, with that battery. You can see the uh, aileron servo. And uh, this uses the uh, Sullivan Golden cable uh, to the ailerons. And there is actually a, a lot of travel. Um, here's your elevator servo and rudder servo and then maybe we can do we got a good view at the servo for the bomb drop okay you can see the thread um, attached to that servo and this is all it runs the bomb doors very simple but it holds our uh, our bomb our bombs uh, quite nicely in the engine in the uh, bomb bays um, we just closed off um, sheeted this area so I can show you once more at the capacity of the bomb bay I don't know you can probably drop whatever the heck you can fit in there there's quite a bit of room uh, maybe one more we can show you a little more function but the springs are actually came from the door off a cassette player for, uh, for a Volkswagen.
So anyways, this is uh, our function test. It's what we ended up with. And it's best always on these builds to get a um, to get some footage of the plane before it's flown too much, before something bad happens. But, uh, it's pretty cool. Really neat to see it in flight. It uh, it does kind of trick you into thinking it's a 17. Um, at some point, we're going to add some insignia on the rudders on the rudder and uh, give it some kind of nose art. But until then, it's plenty fun to uh, to fly the way it is. So, uh, thanks to RC groups for. Um, all the help, all the build information that I found there on all these Gillis conversions. Um, and stay tuned. We'll have another flight video soon. Hopefully we can demonstrate some carpet bombing techniques. Till then, uh, thanks for watching.